Can dendritic cell therapy assist in the fight against cancer? Our body is awesome. Although we are exposed to many health risks, we are usually healthy. We owe this to our immune system, the police of our body. The lieutenants of the police identify what does not belong in the body and instruct the rest of the police to eliminate the intruders. This usually works great. If the burden becomes too large, the system can surrender and serious illness can occur. Cancer is different. Unlike other criminals, cancer can sometimes be hidden. When it comes to cancer, there can be so many criminals in the body that the police can no longer control the situation. Cancer is the second highest cause of death. Dendritic cell immunotherapy has a special method to solve this problem. Dendritic cells are the command level of the immune system. Lieutenants. First, blood is drawn. Afterwards, in the laboratory, the lieutenants are separated from the blood. Then they are greatly multiplied. The characteristics of the cancer cells are then administered to them so that they can be studied in detail. After 10 days, the processed cells, or the lieutenants, are returned to the patient in the form of a vaccination. These lieutenants can then train police officers to hunt the cancer cells. Each dendritic cell lieutenant can arm 25,000 immune cells per day. These policemen are trained to only take action against cancers and have nothing else on their mind. In this way, trillions of immune cells will be applied to the cancer in the next six to nine months. During this time, many forms of cancer have no chance. Tumors, carcinomas, melanomas, sarcomas, and metastases may shrink or disappear. Unlike other forms of treatment, dendritic cell therapy boosts the immune system and fights against cancers naturally. Now the way is clear to ensure lasting health through rehabilitation and prevention.